Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I would go through how to make homemade chicken Kievs, just for something a little bit different. So what I'll be using today are, of course, chicken breasts, red pesto, butter, unsalted, egg wash to put the chicken in, Homemade gluten-free bread, bread crumbs. These have got salt, pepper, um, herb de Provence and a little bit of barbecue seasoning. And it's also got a little bit of paprika in as well. I'm going to fill them with the butter, the pesto, feta cheese and pre-chopped garlic. And then if I feel I want to use them, I've got some homemade crispy fried chip bit things which have got the same things in as the breadcrumbs but they're just old fries that have been double fried chips that have been mashed up and fried and made into these lovely crispy crunkly bits so there you go that's all the ingredients i'm going to use so the first thing to do is to slice the middle of the chicken breasts so i can make a pouch for the garlic, butter, pesto and cheese to go into. I have washed my hands before I did this fully with washing up liquid, doing a full hand washing procedure. So as you can see now, I'm just going to make a small pouch in the middle of the chicken. It's quite a thick chicken breast. I'm going to make quite a big pouch. I'm going to put a bit of butter in there. No, I'm not, not with that knife. I'm going to get another knife. Be right back. Okay, added extras. Bowl of warm soapy water for intermediary hand washing. Kitchen rolls to stop cross-contamination. And a fresh knife to put the butter in with. Or at least to slice the butter to put it in my hands to stick it into the chicken. Or at least that's the plan. So, butter. You can see... But it'll get spread inside chicken breast. Then with this hand, a bit of garlic goes in there too. Wash the fingers. Put in some of the cheese. Third knife for the cheese. So cut off a fairly decent amount of feta cheese. Stick that into the chicken. Spoon for the bit of pesto on the top. Right, the next bit is the coating on the outside that needs to be done. So, get your egg wash. Wipe that all over the top of the chicken. It doesn't matter if you're cross contaminating the chicken with the egg because you this is all you're going to be using this for is wiping on the chicken then you stick some breadcrumbs on all over that top bit including on the pesto and then it seals it in slightly And then on top of that, a few of the crispy chip bits. These you'll have to probably place on individually. The crispy chip bits are an added extra, but it's just for a little bit of extra crunch when you get it out of the oven and serve it. And they are really easy to do and taste so good. They also work on top of macaroni cheese and the cauliflower cheese and anything where you need a crispy coating on it. Now the next bit you need to do is get your hands in the hand washing bowl. Get your oven tray. Now depending on how many chicken breasts you're going to do this with, I'm going to be doing four. What I suggest to do is put a 
some of the crispy coating in the bottom of the tray where you're going to place the chicken and some of the breadcrumbs so it looks a little bit like that you can see that before it all crumbles then pick up your chicken that you've just coated this bit you may need to you will need two hands one hand to flip one hand to hold the chicken then you egg wash the bottom of the chicken like you did on the top then you plonk your chicken onto your baking tray and put back on any toppings that might have fallen off in the process and then all you need to do is repeat the process with each chicken breast washing your hands in between each stage of course if you don't want to contaminate everything with raw chicken or raw egg because that would be really bad so now I'm going to carry on and finish the rest of the chicken or if it's easier you can always egg wash the bottom of the chicken and put it straight into the prepared coating that you have in there and then all you need to do is slice and dice the chicken so it's already in the pan ready so here we go with the rest of them If you get any bloody bits, for example, like this on the actual chicken, just bob it on your chopping board, pinch it in your hand, and just slice it off gently. If all else fails, get a pair of scissors and slice it off because you do not want that on your keos. It'll be really tough and it will not taste nice when you go to actually eat them either. So always remove those bits off the chicken first if you have them. And then bob them to one side. One handed kitchen roll ripping, it is a skill. And yes, you will go through a lot of kitchen roll while you're doing this, so bear in mind. But it's much more sanitary, 
in my opinion and my experience and it is use a tea towel. Now for the last chicken breast. If you want to make them extra garlicky, spread what remains of the garlic lightly over the top of the other chicken breasts to get a bit of extra garlic in the crust. And only use this recipe if the person who is eating them loves garlic. If not, don't do as many cloves. I put four cloves in between the four chicken breasts, but that's because I love garlic. So do it to your own taste. And the same with cheese, if you prefer, you can also use mozzarella or you could use cheddar, depending on which cheese you prefer. There's loads of different options that you can use. You don't even have to put the cheese and the pesto in. I just find that it's a nice combination to use. And if you think you've missed any bits out on the chickens, then take what's left of your breadcrumbs and just sprinkle it on the bottom and just evenly spread out what's left of your ingredients, for example, the garlic, the crispy bits and everything else, and just bob it on top of the chicken wherever you feel is necessary. Wash your hands one final time and then it's ready to go in the oven. And there are your chicken breasts. Looking good and ready to go in the oven. I do not advise, however, holding your trays like this, two on one hand. Definitely not advised, but a useful technique if you can do it. And here we go into the kitchen where I'm cooking tonight's tea at the same time. So open your oven and there you go, chicken breasts in the oven ready to go. Close the oven up. I put mine on 180 degrees on the oven setting or gas mark 4. Leave them in there until they're cooked, keep checking on the temperature and then when it's done enjoy them and eat them and here are the finished products one chicken kiev at that side and another at that side and two more in the fridge for a later date and i must say they look fantastic let's cut one open and see how the inside looks there we go one garlic butter Feta cheese and pesto chicken Kiev. Let me know if you make these yourself. If you tag me on Instagram, let me know how they turn out. If they're looking as good as these ones or even better. Like the video if you want to see more. Comment below what you think of my delicious looking Kievs. And subscribe if you want to see more videos on my channel. Bye.